Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to my two-minute review for God of War Ragnarok. Let's get into it. My expectations were already high, and this game definitely exceeded them. Once I officially hit the end of the game, I had 50 hours of gameplay. And that's because there are so many side areas, so many side quests. There's so much depth to these side quests. You actually feel like you're making an impact when you complete them. The relationships between the characters, especially Kratos and Atreus, is just as good as the first one, if not better. You meet all sorts of new characters, you explore all sorts of new realms, you got Vanheim, the realm of the dwarves, Stoffelheim or whatever. The score is also amazing, only complementing the incredible gameplay every step of the way. The combat felt smooth. Similar to the first one with many additions, you get an extra weapon in the spear. These videos aren't usually about critiques if I had to choose anything to complain about with this game. It'd be similar to the first game. I don't like that the rage mechanic is activated by hitting R3 and L3. I am constantly trying to sprint and lock onto an enemy at the same time and I find myself activating it. I couldn't be the only one with that problem. The other issue, which I've already seen called out by other people, is the holding your hand mechanic throughout the game where you don't have time to solve a puzzle before the before the NPC you're with is like, oh, hey, is that how we do it? I found that to be frustrating, but those are minor gripes compared to the masterpiece that is God of War Ragnarok. For rating for this game, I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of 10. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 game. I don't think most games are 10 out of 10 games, but I think it comes very close it's rare these days for a game to capture my attention and imagination the way that both God of War and God of War Ragnarok have and do. And I cannot wait to see what else this studio comes up with. Thank you for watching.